It's going good. We we working hard over here. We coming this year for real. We getting out there. What did y'all learn from last year that you feel like sets y'all up now to take that next step and, and go surprise some more people and make a run? We learned that we got to be more disciplined. It was a lot of it was a lot of bust from us last year that that stopped us. We can't have that this year. We gotta we gotta be more disciplined this year. Tell me about your development as a player a little bit when when we see you this time a year ago, this time two years ago, to where you are now. Two I'm years ago. Player, you. Two years ago, I should say like I was you know young. I was doing you know crazy stuff, not like bad stuff, but you know in practice I used to you know not pay attention a lot, you know, but now, you know, once I started planning, once I started, you know, getting into it, you know, I developed a lot. Like, I started working harder, all of that, you know, working out, you know, going crazy. It's just a lot I've been doing. When did that click for you? What do you feel like made you realize, you know what, I need to buckle down, I need to focus in, I need to, I need to be a veteran and, and take this more seriously? After I got my, after I got chewed out. That first time, my freshman year after I got chewed out, it made me kind of realize that I got some good in me. And, you know, not many people make it from where I'm, you know, yeah. So it made me go harder. When you're going through some of that tough coaching as a young player, do you realize as it's happening, you know, what they're, they're trying to get me where I need to be? Or do you just kind of listen and it's, it's tough and then you realize it later and, and have that gratitude? Um, at first, it was like I, I listened and it was tough and I realized later. But now, you know, I'm listening, I'm, you know, going, tell, doing everything they're telling me to do. It don't, it don't matter if coach shoot me out or not. I'm going to shake back and go play the next play. You've seen it pay off not only into becoming a really good high school player, but Grambling State extends an offer. They, they notice some of what you can do. Take me through the day of getting a first college offer, what that meant, what those coaches said, just the many emotions, excitement, all those things. Um, the day I got my first offer, it was like, I was excited for it, you know? Cause I was like, dang, that's crazy. I'm a hard work finally paying off. But you know, I'm looking for more, you know? I'm coming for more, you know what I'm saying? I ain't settling just yet. Who are some of the other schools that either you're hearing from or you're hoping to get to for camps or, or anything like that as you kind of continue? Uh, to I've been to Tulane, McNeese. Uh, I'm going to Grambling tomorrow and probably Southern Miss. Friday. What do you hope that the college coaches see from you when you get a chance to go out there or when they have a chance to chat with you and learn a little bit more about who you are outside of football as a young man? What do you hope is kind of the the lasting impression of you as a player and you as a, a young man for these college coaches? Uh, I want them to, you know, see me as a hardworking man, you know, a hardworking person. You know, this is my last year. I got to go out and get it. At college, at college camps, you know, nobody's your friend. You gotta, you gotta do it, you know. You gotta be there. You gotta do what you gotta do to get where you wanna be. It's, it's, it's just all about how hard you work.